What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my YouTube channel. The time is currently 5.30, so it's really early. But basically with that film academy, it's been a good week. We've made the film, but we're off to this festival in London, so it should be pretty good. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye mother. That's right. Coming past you. Morning. 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 Yeah. <laughs> How you feel? It's like, it's like five in the morning. Can I please remind you that you must wear your seatbelts at all times? <laughs> Unfortunately, it is the law. Emergency exits are on on my left here. I'm Dave, and Ian's driving at the moment. So uh, any problems, let us know. We'll try and sort it out. Okay, so now it's six a.m. in the morning, and it's really, really early to be honest. But um, we've got quite a while to go. We've got to go through Yarmouth and Colchester, so it's going to take a couple of hours, and then we'll be there. But obviously, can't really see anything out the window at the moment. But yeah, I'll film a couple of highlights, and then we'll be there. Finally made it, guys. He's one of those little ones you strap on your head. Mm. <laughs> nah, mate. It's not the best look, is it? It's pretty cool. Actually, I'm not allowed to film this. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, thanks for coming and welcome. It's the third day of Future Film Festival and it's the 10th year, so it's a big one. Um, so I do hope you're making the most of it. We have loads of masterclasses, panel discussions, uh, feature films and short film screenings. We also have at five o'clock a networking drink so you can come and meet everyone uh, in the blue room upstairs. All of them were so good. I don't know what this is, guys. Cool cameras. Where do we go? Yo, it's London Eye. Can't you see it? No, you can. Okay, so the reason I couldn't record in there is because the BFI, they own all them short films. So yeah, we watched a couple of short films, and now we're getting lunch, and then after that I've got like this filmmaking out too, so I'm gonna do that. Mate, I really don't know what, oh, they got paella. Oh my God. I honestly don't know what to get. There's so much choice there. Because obviously we're in London, so there's just loads of things. 
Spinkins get that maybe, a beef burger. Or there's calamari and chips over there. Right, I'm getting calamari and chips. Sounds pretty damn nice, so let's get it. Looks so good. So good, so does that. I know, it's so nice. Like yeah. Oh, they got smoothies! I think Taz went with yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oh, look at this. All right, we're still on lunch break. We've got about 15 minutes, I'd say. So I'm gonna get a couple of shots because if you look around, the scenery is like really, really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of shots. And that's gonna be now. Famous skate spot. This looks sick. Yeah, that's the famous um, South Bank skate spot in London. Books. Books. So this is building a reputation as a filmmaker. Pretty cool. Thank you. They might be doing something here. Not sure what though. Hi everybody, my name's Chloe. I'm the festival programmer here at BFI Future Film Festival. Now we're going to be presenting a panel, uh, Building Reputation as a Filmmaker, which is in partnership with Shooting People. I'm going to invite our panel to the stage and hand over to Matt Turner, who's going to be hosting today. We get them a round of applause. Okay, so generally I'm just going to try and introduce the format of this panel. We're going to see a clip from Coldwood now. If your mum's death. <laughs> uh, so we have four different filmmakers working on different platforms. I've got a question for all of you really. How much do you feel like you need to have an image for yourself as a filmmaker when you're approaching a kind of a branded company or an agency or, or whatever you do to get kind of work for external companies. The last one is VR, an interactive story. Basically, the next one is VR, virtual reality. And if you know like them things you wear on your eyes, that's virtual reality. So, yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do for that one, but basically we just had a talk on um, filmmaking and these like four different people. They did some stuff like that, so that was pretty cool. And yeah, it's actually a really cool event, so we're now going to the VR. It's going to be pretty sick. I know I didn't really film this, but... Way into the end right now. All right, we are going in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's pretty dark. It's a squish. We're really happy we have this one on. Um, so it's this new frontier VR and interactive storytelling. I'm going to hand you over to Marisol. All about VR and uh, the new frontiers. So two billion miles was uh, an interactive immersive story that we made. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> it was alright. It was alright. You liked it, yeah? Cool. 
to be honest, all of this has just been like talks and stuff, but it's still be pretty cool listening and stuff like that. Hmm. Yo, dude. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Hello. I uh, hope you've had a really good day at the festival today. Thank you so much for coming. Great to see you all here uh, networking and chatting. And uh, I just wanted to really quickly introduce you to my colleague Grace today. So let's say a big cheers to the VFI film. Thank you very much. This is the most important part of the evening is networking, getting those numbers. So good luck. <laughs> We finished up the day and now we're heading back home. I don't know how long the journey will take. We have to go through Colchester and then Yarmouth and then back to Norwich. So that's why it takes longer. So I think the journey takes about four hours, something like that. The London Eye looks so sick. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Ian gone. Oh, let's say again. Make sure to like, comment, like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we've got about five hours to go. I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna get some sleep and I can't really feel the journey, obviously. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share subscribe and stuff. I'll catch you next time.